most users use WhatsApp or SMS and that's what we're going to be using to market to our customers. Hey, what up Decisive Marketers? Today, I'm going to be talking about iSend and what this tool does, it allows you to make use of the unofficial WhatsApp API as well as the Android device to turn it into an automated SMS sending device, right? So before I dive into I send be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content so here we go so what happens with I send is that they allow you to use SMS and WhatsApp which all can be triggered via uh, API right so with API uh, you can automatically send out messages or send bulk messages as well Okay, so this is going to come in very handy in many different ways, such as, for example, an e-commerce store. When a customer plays an order, uh, when there is a status update of the order itself, you will send out a notification message to your customers. Uh, and then maybe after that, you can send out a uh, review request uh, message as well via sms or whatsapp uh, there's many other things that you can do with uh, i send as well you can uh, use it as let's say for a salesperson you could automate some of your uh, stay in touch message with your uh, with your clients your existing clients uh, you could maybe use it for prospecting as well uh, call messages okay uh, maybe you could join a whatsapp group export some of the users in there uh, and then send out personalized whatsapp messages to every single uh, you know user in the group itself uh, so there's many ways that you could use uh, i send for that you could uh, even use it for sort of like a lead uh, follow-up uh, let's say you run a facebook ad lead ad and you automate it uh, with a whatsapp message so if someone were to fill in a facebook lead form you can automatically send them a whatsapp or sms message to confirm uh something you know, let's say you're run you're running an ad for say a uh, trial class uh trial yoga class right and you automatically send out the whatsapp or sms message to them Okay, so that's kind of how uh, what you can do with iSend itself. Uh, so let me just kind of show you how it works. Okay, so maybe let's take a look at WhatsApp because it's easier to use. Right, so once you go into accounts, click on account and then you click on link account. Okay, and what happens is that you use your WhatsApp message uh, sorry your whatsapp uh, app itself and scan the qr code that is being generated you only have like 15 to 20 seconds to scan it once you scan it you know it's done it will then be connected uh, with iSend so uh, and what happens is that you can send out uh, about messages you can queue message in here you can type in a quick message put in the phone number uh, type a message queue the message and it you know it's being queued and will be sent out later uh, you can look at all the send messages uh, you can you know sort of uh, schedule uh, messages uh, these are like bulk messages okay uh, right and uh, so these these are the and then you can you can repeat those messages as well uh, which is very very powerful okay uh, you can uh pull out groups as well right and export all the numbers uh, and then you can send them personally you can see messages that you received you can save those messages in as well uh you know i can you can do a bulk campaign uh as well right here okay so the next thing is that you could use either their sms gateway or your uh android device for uh, SMS so what happens is that when you once again uh, install the app okay so there is a mobile app that you want to do install in Android just click here uh, it will then you know download a file uh, you know like this which you will then uh, sort of uh, install it on your Android 
uh, device okay you can click install transfer the file to your to your Android phone open it up or you can just scan the QR code and download the app right then once you're done open up the app scan the QR code right here to connect your Android device with I send okay then what happens is that you will now be using your mobile plan which usually would have come with some SMS uh, SMS for free which you can then use that for uh, automated SMS messages to I send okay so the next thing then is that if you prefer not to use your own Android device you because if you are going to be using an Android device you have to ensure that your Android device is constantly uh, you know turned on right um, you can then choose to use SMS this is using uh, their gateway right so if you click on gateway uh, I think is it right here nope Maybe it's in tools. Nope. Uh, okay. Partnership, is that it? Nope. This is. They gotta find some. Uh, is it this one? Let me see, just kind of take a look. Oh, sorry it's uh, right here you can click on top up you can put in credits and then uh, you will sort of consume the uh, number of SMS right so for example if you are using the if you are let's say on the professional plan then you should be able to send Nope, I think this is not the one. I think it's in Gateway Reads, but I don't think they have any partners listed here. Uh, but nonetheless, I believe that you can top up your credits in here, but it just doesn't say like how many credits is being consumed at the moment. Okay, but what happens is you know you can top up credits, you can purchase them, and when you send out via their SMS gateway, you will uh, consume credits. Right, so those are the ways, and then the last thing that I want to uh, okay. So the next thing is you can save all your contacts into iSend as well. Lastly, would be uh, you know using API keys and webhooks to automate iSend itself. Okay, you can save uh, templated uh, messages as well. You can save it here, uh, and let's see actions. Yeah, so you can put auto replies. You can set auto replies for your uh, WhatsApp. You can, you know, put a hook your your web hooks, API key, so they can automate sending of these messages, receiving and triggering of uh, your messages as well. Okay, so pretty much that's all I have to share about uh, iSend. I can't really demo it to you because then I have to connect my device uh, with iSend, which uh, I can't at the moment because I'm using a different uh, gateway which I have already connected all my tools in there right uh, but nonetheless uh, you know I have sort of demo some of the automations that you can do with WhatsApp uh, unofficial WhatsApp especially with um, one of the other um, WhatsApp uh, get, uh, this uh, uh, unofficial uh, API gateway uh, in my channel as well so you can check that video out and see what you can do uh, because iSend is very similar but where iSend is really powerful in is that it combines both SMS and WhatsApp in one single dashboard so it makes it uh, you know a lot easier because uh, many times we are going to be using both channels anyway right so that's all i have to share about iSend if you enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up let me know what you think about iSend in the comments below and lastly if you know anyone who could benefit from uh, iSend which is a sms and whatsapp api gateway be sure to share this video with them i'll see you in my next video bye bye